Hello, people. Davy is back. Victoria Alonso claims she was fired by Disney after refusing to make reprehensible Marvel movie edits. So, there's a few things that goes on here. Uh, quick explainer. Victoria Alonso is the VX, uh, the VFX producer, which, given the last few movies, TV shows, v the VXX has been terrible. I've covered it. Did I cover it? I think I covered it last year. The VXX sort of teams were built against Disney as they were putting too much pressure on them. They were demanding stuff. And it's not an easy thing to do, to be honest. So you have to render a scene that if someone wants to change to, you have to scrap it all and re render the whole thing again. It's like doing the classic comic book stuff. If you wanted any small details changing to a character's outfit, you would have to go back. If you kind of do a small edit change, so if you want the whole outfit changed, you have to go back so many pages and just start again. Oh my dears! I listened to a listen to a kind of uh, podcast on uh, with Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, uh, Real BBC by Heels vs Babyface, uh, and. Uh, Graham Nolan actually goes into the classic stuff. It was actually quite good. Uh, I recommend if you can go back to that. Uh, I would link it, but he's bigger than this, so I mean, it wouldn't be hard to find. Right, but anyway, well, everyone's bigger than me, but still, let's crack on. So, Disney has been embroiled in controversy after firing a producer, uh, helped steer the Marvel Cinematic Universe for more than two decades. So, she's been there since 2006, I believe. Uh, first few movies, I think, was Iron Man. Uh, would have been, well, it definitely would have been Iron Man, Civil War, uh, the first Avengers. So, yeah, she's got a track record. Don't know what she was doing then. I think she was only a producer, now she's an executive. But, I think there's a few reasons for the firing in this. For one, Disney wants to massively cut their budgets. I covered it a few weeks back now. Disney is down... Profitability wise, a billion dollars a year. I don't know how a company can exist losing a billion dollars. It blows my mind, but it's what happened. It's where they're at. They own so many IPs, they own so many assets, they could probably leverage it against whatever debts they pretty much get. Given that their stock price is still, I think it's like 90 bucks now a share, which there's a hell of a crash from the ridge from the original peaks. I think I was hitting like nearly two two hundred bucks just before uh, the pandemic. But anyway, so however, Alonso via her attorney Pat Gens uh, Glazer has denied the issue, saying that she was fired after Marvel asked her to do something she believed was reprehensible. And this is where they're pushing the sort of LGB element, the anti-LGB stuff. It's so, well, yeah, this explains it. Victoria is a gay Latina who has... I didn't use Latinx, I used Latina. Ooh, I don't think you can use that. Oof, oof, oof. Who has encouraged criticism of Disney, uh, was silent. Which is a fair dose. Disney was being quiet on and sort of aspect of... Well, it's the sort of Florida stuff where they've basically now took back over the parks because Disney spoke up against... At first, Disney wasn't going to see out, which it's fair dues. It's not Disney's sort of uh, play like element. They're not political. Well, they shouldn't be political an entity, especially if they want to cater to everyone. Getting into politics just gets dirty. It's just how it is. But anyway, so she kind of dragged them into that, and now they're paying the repercussions of losing their tax status, which has really fucked them up. Right, but anyway, so the quest was reportedly due to the release of Marvel's latest film, so Ant-Man and the Wasp, Continuia. Realistically, you should have done it in that. The movie is down, which is an indicator that Disney is in the shit. So I think it's only made 200 million domestically. Well, US domestically, not UK. When you know where to start with uh, the UK one. But reportedly that Marvel bosses alleged that they wanted an edit to the blur of a shop window 
that had a rainbow decoration as well as the word pride for its release in guitar. Wait. Kuwait. They're both in the same place. And a country which is anti LGBTQ plus elements law. Which, I mean, at least I can sort of see the virtue in us sticking to our guns. I mean, getting political in this sort of way means you have to basically sell your soul back and forth every time, which Disney is now doing. It's amazing that the rest of the world hasn't actually seen the shit that they're producing over here and just outright ban them. Because even with it blurred, you know it's still there, you'll know the elements are still there. But that's not the point of this. The point is that Victoria Alonso, at least... All credit to Asher, stuck to her guns. Good for her. We'll see how it plays out for her. Although, who oversees the film and produces uh, the post-production visual effects is claimed to have refused to make the edit, alleging that Marvel made uh, the changes using an outside uh, contributor instead. Which is fair. So, at least in this case, it's not a C... Well, was it? Didn't you really see was it a CGI shop or not? If it was a CGI shop, it'd be even worse. Oh, they've got a massive problem with using fucking blue and green screens. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Makes it, it makes the modern stuff looks absolutely shite. I, see, I don't know why they can't go back to practical effects. But anyway, last year Alonso was also vocal about Disney's dispute with uh, Florida. Florida? What the fuck? Okay, over the don't say gay bill. Ah, wait. Real recap. It's not a don't say gay bill. It's just don't talk to kids about sex. But anyway, using the former CEO Bob Chapek to voice uh, his opposition after employees staged a walkout. I think it was only one guy that actually went outside. But anyway, I asked there. Uh, asked asked you again, Mr. Chapek. Oh yeah, she said this on the red carpet. Yeah, uh, please respect if we are selling families. Uh, take a stand against all the crazy outdated laws. She said during the uh, Glad Media Awards, adding, uh, take a stand for the family. Yeah, that doesn't look well in the sort of context of things. So, this is pretty much, I reckon, is lining up for a lawsuit that Victoria Alonso is going to target it on a discrimination law. Uh, saying that they're just discriminating against due to a gender, a sex. She'll probably throw race into that, why not? Everyone else would. Uh, da, da, da. Was there something in this I wanted? Oh yeah, so the XXL boss, Disney fires Marvel Entertainment's chairman, and Bob Iger spearheads layoffs to achieve a 5.5 billion cost cutting campaign. So that's where I got the figure from. So. There's a bit more to this. The Marvel chairman has also been told goodbye, which is coming on the back of Walt Disney houses Marvel chairman Ike Piamura after he clashes with Bob Iget. Yeah, we had names, tell you. Yeah, I thought it was Ike. I was thinking I Isaac. I've heard Ike. I've always heard other comedy has called Ike. Wait. The billionaire who also sold Marvel to Disney. That's basically where I know him from. So, I mean, credit to him. He's probably made billions on top of that four billion out of this. Easily done. If he was paid in shares, he was paid as an executive. But, as far as I know, the relationship between Bob Iger and Ike wasn't the best. They were always bubbling heads. And I believed... I did want to sack Feige. I'd be mistaken on that. But I believe that uh, uh, that Bob stepped in and stopped it. Which I mean, sort of paid off. They made an end game with him. And then it just went downhill from there. But, anywho. Everyone's getting sacked. Well, yeah. Fucking estimated 7,000 wolves. Flipping hell. Hope that's not the VXX team because they actually definitely need them. They need actually more of them to be honest. But just to highlight how much in the shit they are, looked up this 519 million. So that's total. 
So I mean, I wouldn't knock it. Given they are likely to break even. Probably need an extra 80 million more, I would say, to break even. Uh, given marketing, given production, all that bullshit. But this is making less than what the sequel made. I was never going to beat the uh, fucking thingy, was it? Yeah, still was class as well. But anyway, so my take on this, I reckon Marvel, well, Disney as the overall company, but Marvel, Star Wars even, with fair, uh, should have brought it up, man. The man that I love you in is just tanking as well. But anyway, that's it. Disney's failing. I think, well, I did cover it a few weeks back that it lost a billion. I still can't believe how. But read it on this. It looks like that billion is true. And they want to cover 5.5 billion. Which makes you think, what's ahead? I think they were planning to cut, uh, there was plans to cut the entertainment. There was plans to cut uh, other bullshit. Well, obviously cutting staff. We'll have to see how it plays out. It's Alonzo stuff, I reckon it'll probably be hushed up. Remember when uh, Scarlett Johansson sued Disney when they released Black Widow on Disney Plus and uh, in theatres, but she was promised a commission from the theatres? So it was like undercutting what she could have made, and then just paid her off. I reckon this would probably go the same way. Just give us some hush money. Speaking of hush money, anyway. Wait, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hello, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, watch more. If not, eh, at least like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. Appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.